Hi everyone, my name is Eric Figueroa and in this video I'm going to talk about exercise. So people have this mindset where I could eat anything I want and expect for me to exercise so that way I could just burn it off. However, just keep in mind that exercise contributes to 50% of your results. So there are two types of exercise. Um, one of them is aerobic exercise, meaning that it's with air. So essentially your body is producing um, energy uh, with oxygen. Um, it is also known as the low intensity uh, training as well. And some examples are walking, jogging, bicycling, and jump roping. The other type is anaerobic exercise, meaning it's without air. So essentially your body is producing energy without oxygen. It is also known as a high intensity training. And some examples are sprinting, lifting weights, um, high interval training, um, other examples such as uh, football or basketball or even um, lifting weights as well as um, boxing or MMA. So there are three stages of exercise, but technically there's four. Uh, one of them is duration, like how long is your exercise? Um, intensity, like how tense is your exercise? Like are you sprinting or you're jogging? Um, and also your recovery, like how often how often you recover you know, during your workout sessions. And the other one is frequency or repetition, like how many reps are you doing you know, during your exercise. Uh, and when you exercise, you spike this hormone called growth hormone. And growth hormone is, one of the, is a great way you know, to burn off the fat, and it's also a fat burning hormone. So the benefits of exercise happens when you trigger this hormone especially if you're doing anaerobic exercise. So there are some ways that inhibit your exercise, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Um, some of them are eating and eating, and just the diet as well, because um, the diet contributes most of the results. In regards to eating, like one of the common mistakes uh, when people exercise is usually they would consume like a granola bar or Gatorades or even um, a smoothie like during or even after the workout and the issue with that is that those are high amount of sugar so at one hand you're exercising to burn up that sugar but the other hand you're consuming that sugar again so it's kind of like defeating the purpose um, sleep and sleep is vitally important and, and that's be and that's because you know sleep happens you know when you're trying to have that higher amounts of recovery I recommend that you get 77 to 8 hours of sleep um, minimum and when you sleep, as a matter of fact, that's when most or all of your weight you're going to lose during your sleep. Um, so sleep is very important. And also the quantity, like if you're, if you're doing like aerobic exercise or anaerobic exercise, um, the intensity, like either you're doing jogging or sprinting, so do th two different things. Um, and also the frequency, like how often you're doing the ex exercises as well. Um, recovery, like recovery is vitally important, you know, when you exercise. And, and that's because, and one of the key indicators of your overall health, especially to exercise, is your body able to recover. So one way to measure that is your pulse rate. So if your pulse rate is extremely high, you know, when, after your exercise, then that means that your body requires higher amounts of recovery. And with that in mind, uh, one of the key important principles is that you do not want to overtrain. So one of the common mistakes is that people feel that, well, instead of having sleep, they're not just going to train even more. However, you're really compromising your body, you know, in a great way. Uh, so, for example, like the football players, they don't, they don't, they don't play football every day. Instead, they eat, they, they they would work out. They would play once a week. And that's because, because it is a demanding and physical sport where the fact that they're sprinting all the time and, and they're tackling and they're using a, the entire body. They're using excess amount of force with it. So, because otherwise if they just do it every day, then their bodies would just fall and crash. Um, so that's why, you know, recovery is such an important element, you know, when you exercise. Um, and also stress as well. Uh, stress can also inhibit um, your exercise as well. So the thing is that when you're on a ketogenic diet or you're thinking about doing keto, 
keep in mind that it will take time for your body to fully adapt to exercise and that's because you're you don't have any glycogen reserve um, so your body will tell you whether you need to exercise or you need to recover um, to speed up the process, I would say I recommend um, the uh, the electrolytes. Um, just make sure it doesn't have the sugar and also some sea salt and also some sea salts as well. And that's because your body, you know, loses salt. Um, so this gives you a complete picture on exercise. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate all the love and support. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.